Hello everyone, Yunari here. Seeing how Pokemon Sun and Moon were released this past November, I figured I'd share a little story with you guys about my very first Pokemon game, which in my case was Pokemon Diamond. Okay, so at the time I was like 10 years old and I had recently gotten a DS Lite for Christmas or my birthday, don't really remember. And the only game I had at the time for my DS was Nintendox. So my dad decided to contact one of his colleagues or something and he bought me this R4 DS card. And for those who don't know what an R4 card is, it allows you to basically store DS ROMs onto a DS card and you can play them on your DS and stuff. So yeah, this person had like storage of thousands of DS ROMs and my dad happened to have gotten his hands on one of the CDs that these ROMs were stored on. So he'd be sitting at the computer and he'd be like, alright, so what games do you want to play? And he'd casually scroll through the entire library of the ROMs and everything. And I happened to notice this one game called Pokemon Diamond. Now, I knew what Pokemon was at the time, like I knew Pikachu and uh, Bulbasaur and Charmander and a bunch of the Gen 1 Pokemon and everything, but I had never played a Pokemon game before, so I was like, hmm, alright, I'll give it a shot. And for your information, my English was really, really crappy at the time, because English isn't my native language. And Pokemon Diamond hadn't been translated into my native language. So, to me, the game was like reading freaking Chinese. And because of this, I had to go to my mom for a translation and be like, Ah, oh, mom, what does this say? At first she didn't mind, but then slowly she started to get more cranky and be like, yeah, this means something along the lines of like, go to the forest and go fuck yourself. Eventually I just stopped asking and I kind of got the hang of the game. And by that I mean talking to every single NPC in the game, because I couldn't understand a single word these NPCs were saying. So I just kept trying new things, hoping to get further. And because of this, I spent a lot of time within one area in the game. Which brings me to my next point. I remember this one time I was in Eterna Forest, and I had just finished the little stroll thingy with Cheryl, I think her name was. So I was just roaming around the forest because I didn't know what direction I had to go to and what I had to do. And I ran into this one Badoo. Now I knew the regular Badoo had like this this green patch on his chest and everything, but this Badoo that I ran into had a little purple patch on his chest. So I was like, hmm, that's weird. Anyway, at the time I didn't know shinies were a thing within Pokemon, even though I had seen the anime with the shiny Noctile from Ash, but I just figured Ash was special and just had a special Noctowl or whatever. But yeah, the idea of shiny didn't really cross my mind, so I just ran away. And this actually happened a second time in the game, and it was actually a chat out this time. So ever since I encountered a trainer with a chat out, I was like, oh my gosh, I need this Pokemon on my team. I was strolling through the grass and happened to run into a Chadot. This was a regular Chadot, a female one, but I personally really wanted a male one, so I ran away. A couple of minutes later, I ran into another Chadot, and this one was male. Guess what? It had different colors. And oh my god, I remember thinking to myself, hmm, do I like the one with the regular colors better or this one? I like the regular colored one better. There actually was one more shiny I ran into in my diamond game, and don't worry, I actually caught this one. So I remember being at my grandma's at the time, staying over there because my parents had to go somewhere or something and me and my sister weren't old enough yet to stay home alone. So we had like a little sleep over at grandma's house. And it was early in the morning, and I was playing my diamond game, strolling through this desert route, and all of a sudden, I run into this shiny sand slash. 
And by this time, I finally knew what a shiny was and that it was rare. So I flipped my shit and I screamed to my sister. And my sister had actually long forgotten about her Pokemon Pearl game. I think she got bored of it or something. I don't know. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. Initially I wanted to make the video about 9 minutes in length, but due to me being kinda lazy, I decided to cut away the last 3 minutes of the video, as it would take, I don't know, a couple more weeks or something to uh, complete this video and I didn't want to do that. Seeing how I wanted to have this video out initially by uh, the release of Pokemon Sun and Moon. And as you can see, uh, yeah, no, that didn't go as planned. Anyway, uh, let me know what you thought of this video. This is my very first time trying out uh, this storytelling method. And yeah, hope to see you guys soon in the next video. Bye.